For the first time in Napa history, two men are charged with murder accused of dealing drugs to a teenager who overdosed on fentanyl last year. Crown Force Sarah Simpson talked with Napa police to find out more about what went into the investigation. Monica Flores was 17 years old when she was found dead at her home in Napa on May 25th, 2022, just two weeks away from graduating Vintage High School. It took 11 months for police to arrest two men accused of dealing her the deadly drug. Uh, it wasn't until uh, the subsequent autopsy that revealed that the victim died of an overdose ingestion. It was a prescription uh, tablet that was laced with fentanyl. After an in-depth investigation, enough evidence was gained to charge two men with her murder. 23-year-old Alan Martinez was arrested at a home in Santa Rosa. 21-year-old Louise Melgoza was already in custody at the Sonoma County Detention Center for an unrelated charge. The two were booked into the Napa County Detention Center for 11 charges, including murder, possession and transport of a narcotic, as well as selling fentanyl to a minor. This is the first time the Napa County District Attorney has been able to charge a fentanyl supplier with murder charges. Napa police hope the historic charges send a message to drug dealers moving forward. It's certainly a public health crisis that we're well aware of uh, and we're trying to get in front of and we're hoping that the prosecution of these suspects will set the precedent. Lieutenant Rodriguez says as a police force, they are combating the opioid epidemic by cracking down on drug dealing and providing drug education for the community have engaged in an ongoing effort to not only educate parents, but also inform and educate as many school uh, age children as possible as to the dangers of fentanyl. All to prevent more people from dying. It's been one year since the Flores family lost their daughter. That they are truly devastated by the tragedy that took place. I spoke with the best friend of Monica's mom, who says she's not quite ready to talk about what happened. The family wants people to know Monica was a loving daughter loved animals and was an exemplary student. Just before her death, she was awarded a scholarship from Napa police for students who want to go into law enforcement. The Flores family says they want to sit down with me and tell their story in depth. But with the recent news of the arrests, they need some time to gather their thoughts. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting in Napa, Cron 4 News.